Hello again, this is Small Saddle Wedgie with a further preview of the 1983 Skeeter Wrangler HP 150. Uh, some questions was raised about the 115 horsepower Mercury engine uh, that is on the back of this boat. It is not the original engine. I believe it came rated at a 140 horsepower. Um, they wanted pictures and I will post them definitely in the forums, but I wanted to go ahead and give a video because sometimes uh, angles and questions can be raised and this just might be the easiest way to do it. So let's get this turned around here. Now I've gone ahead and removed the shroud, um, knocked off a dirt dauber nest that was in there. Uh, I'm going to assume things need to be cleaned up in here. Everything actually looks uh, relatively uh, dust free um, seems to be maintenanced and and, uh, and cared for a little bit in here uh, these two wires here uh, judging by that down there looking like a solenoid I'm gonna assume coming off of that this is probably the starter housing uh, where the starter once rested and then these are the two cables affixed into the starter um, not really knowing what I'm looking at or looking for, I do see the label up there that says three-cylinder, two-cycle, Mercury Marine. Um, same thing here, stamped on the bottom. Uh, everything here does seem to be here with the exception of the starter. I don't see anything missing. Um, no corrosion um, around the spark plugs. Um, uh, everything does look to be in relative good shape um, of course that don't mean squat on whether it runs or not but uh, hey you know what do I know right so taking a look around um, the kind of the, the history behind this motor behind the story uh, behind me actually getting this is a, is a very interesting one uh, the guy had about nine different boats and he had gotten this one simply as a part boat but not because it wasn't running or, or functional uh, he got this because he believed it couldn't be titled uh, it was actually uh, kind of a long drawn out story but to make it quick um, he didn't have the title the guy he bought it from didn't have the title the guy before him didn't have the title um, it, it was given as a part boat because it couldn't <laughs> it couldn't be put on the water because it couldn't be registered it was caught up with a lien with a bank that no longer existed uh, i was able to find the original owner and um was able to find the original owner and uh, get him to sign the title over to me or the title paperwork uh, along with uh, an authority paper uh, giving me permission to do all of this stuff and then contacted the FDIC and uh, did a lien release because the bank that had the lien uh, actually went out of business and was closed by the FDIC in 1989. Uh, as far as I know this boat has not been in the water since 2003 Oh, no, that's not right. Since, uh, I'm sorry, since 1989, this boat has not been in the water. Uh, it has sat in relative obscurity uh, in a barn and then was taken from the barn and bought by this guy who left it outside because he was just going to part it out. So uh, I did show the underside of the motor on the last video, but I will go ahead, and in case this is the only video you're reviewing, uh, go ahead and show you the underside of the motor. What is missing is the, the lower end, which is uh, the prop and all that stuff there at the bottom. So, here we go. Uh, I don't have a screen, so I do apologize if I'm not hitting it exactly. But uh, you can see, um, due to the lack of corrosion, no dirt, uh, nothing here on the underside of it, uh, even though no, no color changes compared to the rest of the motor, I'm going to go on the assumption that uh, this was a recently removed item. Like I said, the guy had a ton of boats, so what's he going to do? Uh, we'll get in here. I don't know if the video will pick up that label. Uh, if not, I will actually post all of the labeling information in the forums and uh, let you guys take a look there. But uh, anyway, that is the motor. Uh, someone did request to see it. So uh, let me know what you guys think. And uh, small saddle wedge again. We'll see you in the forums.